Hello everyone. Welcome to my e-lecture. This is Saravanan, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Applications, Madhanapalli Institute of Technology and Science, Madhanapalli, Andhra Pradesh. So, my e-lecture on workflow management system in cloud. So, my flow of presentation for this particular e-lecture will cover the overview of the cloud computing, that is my area, and uh, follows by introduction to workflow management system. And we'll say about cloud WMS, cloud performance metrics, the need uh, for it, advantages and disadvantages, conclusions followed by queries or uh, the conclusions if you want, you can make it. A basic overview to uh, my topic today, workflow management system in, in the cloud. Cloud computing uh, provides a rich set of information technology services that are uh, that are provided to an uh, end user over a network on a rental basis and with the flexibility to rescale or down the service requirements the important era in in this information technology uh, period where uh, everything relies on this particular sector called cloud computing in which workflow management system plays a vital role where basically cloud computing services are given by a third party provider who owns the infrastructure the resources can be dynamically allows an optimum resource by a pay per use model which means customized service level where the organizations or the companies can prefer their uh, own model whether uh, they can they can extend their services or storage whatever the requirements is uh, requested the cloud service provider will uh, do it Despite the potential gains achieved from the cloud computing, the organization reacts slowly in accepting thanks to the security issues relevant to it. Because the organization may think about the data and the security concern which is the major parameter in uh, shifting their pendulum from traditional method to the cloud environment. So security is one of the main issues which hamper the expansion of the cloud. Other than security, there are a number of issues to address which are basically cost effectiveness and importantly workflow management system. Introduction to WMS workflow management system. At the intersection of the cloud technology and workflow management system lies with a dynamic and evolving field of today because implementation, of the op implementation and optimization of workflow management system in the cloud is playing playing a uh, playing a major part so the advent of these cloud computing has ushered in a very transformative era in which the way organizations operate and manage their business processes in an increasingly digital world the ability to efficiently orchestrate and streamline workflows has become a critical factor in achieving their operation excellence enhancing productivity and importantly responding which is swiftly evolving to their marketing demands so cloud-based workflow management system represents a paradigm shift in how businesses design, execute and monitor their processes. These systems leverage the scalable on-demand resources offered by their cloud service providers which facilitate the automation of complex tasks and the coordination of activities across various function units available with the cloud sector. Workflow management system enables automated and seamless execution of workflows which uh, give an answer to most of the organization who relies on this important uh, cloud sector. It allows users to define and model workflows which sets their deadline and the budget limitations and also the environment in which they wish to execute. The WFMS then evaluates these inputs and execute them within the defined constraints. Concerns are made uh, by the sector where which can which can make the organization to work with a particular model. They can opt their own model depends on the paper use. The prominent components of a typical cloud WMS is given in the next slide. This uh, basic architecture uh, workflow management system carries uh, with the three levels where the bottom shows the different uh, cloud model where it starts with the public and number two private and third one hybrid. The organization pick their own model where they can stick with the public cloud or they can prefer private cloud 
and there is an option where they can combine public and private cloud structure. In between, there is a uh, segment where resource broker uh, plays a vital role between these cloud model and the workflow enactment engine. The engine covers a language parser, the task dispatcher, workflow scheduler, resource allocation, fault tolerant management, and importantly, negotiation services. Among these engine where we are focusing on the third one, which is called workflow scheduler. Workflow initiates our work very easily and it can automate the things very, very, very in a very prompt way to the organization where they doesn't want to worry much about its, its, its own uh, workflow engine, where it connects with the portal where uh, workflow editor and the workflow modeling uh, schemes take care of themselves where this entire process goes in a very smoother manner. Where other parameters are supporting to this particular uh, architecture where uh, provenance management, database management, monitoring, and importantly, security and identity management. Because organizations doesn't want to compromise themselves in these parameters called security and monitoring uh, mechanisms. So VM uh, taking care of all these aspects where uh, virtual uh, migration services will do the remaining part where these model supports along with the workflow management system. So uh, data catalog is available along with the directory and catalog services. So these are three levels where uh, uh, broker initiates from the model where organizations opt to select from public, private and hybrid where this workflow along with other parameters does the remaining part. So the workflow portal is used to model and define abstract workflows that is task and their dependencies. The workflow enactment engine takes the abstract flows and passes them using the language parser. Then the task dispatcher analyzes the dependencies and dispatches the ready task to the scheduler. The scheduler based on the defined scheduling algorithms schedules the workflow task onto a resource. Workflow enacting engine is the uh, core part or we call that as a hard part which handles the fault tolerance of the workflow. It also contains a resource allocation the components which allocates resources to the task through the resource broker. So resource broker acts as an intermediate between these two levels. The resource broker interfaces with the infrastructure layer and provides a unified view to the enactment engine. The resource broker communicates with compute services to provide the desired resources. So workflow management system in general provide important services that are essential for the working of WFMS. Security and identity services ensures the authentication and a secure access to the management system. Monitor tools supports in all the way which constantly uh, monitor vital components of workflow management system and raise alarms at appropriate times if required. Another important uh, parameter to be uh, discussed along with this workflow management system is metrics. We require metrics where assessment uh, is very, very important uh, to ensure uh, the 100% quality, 100% workflow, 100% working mechanism. So effective management and quality assurements of processes in the cloud involve a holistic approach that encompasses resource management, automation, security, compliance, cost optimization, and a commitment to continuous improvement. Throughout the years, metrics have been defined in different research fields. In many cases, they were defined relying on the experiments and knowledge of experts. Though it is very, very important and is very usually not good enough to obtain value metrics theoretically and empirically. Therefore, we believe it is necessary to follow a methodology that allows defining metrics that are valid both theoretically and empirically. So, what are the ways or the methodology includes to assess the metrics? So, we will see the metrics. Uh, covers with uh, six six basic parameters or we call that as a matrix which starts with data security organizations are no way uh, wants to lose their data leak their data or share their data so it's very important to uh, preserve those uh, particular uh, point where we need to preserve the data so cloud no way ensuring with 100 percent they are securing the data guaranteed quality of services so the second part where we doesn't want to uh, get lenient or get leverage from the part called uh, quality of services. So QS also maintained by uh, 
cloud connected engine uh, the second part so that the performance extends to user centric interfaces so it, it acts as a mediator or the interface is ensured between all the parameters and scalability and flexibility the important core or the important uh, property of an, an a cloud uh, lies with scalability and flexibility anytime anywhere if organizations wants to uh, extend the resources uh, required their energy so it is uh, available and feasible with cloud where we have that particular property or particular metric called scalability and flexibility we move to the fifth called uh, Autonomy or answer services delivery. Yes, uh, paper service model gives the answer uh, to this particular metric called performance metric called on service delivery. If a recommend is uh, requested, they will uh, sanction uh, in any parameter like uh, storage or efficiency or virtual machine. Whatever is required, they will extend their services. Why? Why need for metrics? Why we need to assess? why we need to uh, go for the metrics one of the stages of the methodology used uh, for the definition of the proposed metrics is the establishment of the metrics must be validated both theoretically and empirically regarding the theoretical validation the main objective is to verify whether the initiative idea of the attribute to be measured is reflected in the metric in other words to prove that the metric measures the attribute that it tries to measure this is achieved through the analysis of the requirements that must be complied with when the measurement is being taken so this is the important need where the metrics has been taken performance expectations with three metrics such as the important factors starts with resource availability resource utilization and ends with application performance we are requesting for resource availability and they are providing and the utilization ends with this particular uh, thing is called performance so they, they the organization know where compromising with their performance compromising uh, not with the utilization and the, the model model uh, actually uh, correlated directly with providing the services whenever they are requested the metrics must be well defined with the factors called response time latency and availability the important core with the cloud is whenever they are requesting the metric the sixth metric uh, ensures us that scalability and reliability so uh, the organizations uh, need, need to worry need not to be worry with the uh, resource of resources uh, allocation to them so it's uh, defined with the factors called response time latency and importantly availability the conclusion to this particular uh, small topic uh, on workflow management system with where database management system and its components provide a reliable storage for intermediate and final data results of the workflows so the important uh, core here is the provenance management uh, where it, it it plays a vital role in the basic architecture uh, where we defined with that particular diagram captures important information such as dynamics of control flows and data their progressions execution information file locations input and output information extends with workflow structure forms workflow evaluation and system information so province is very essential for interpreting data determining its quality and ownership providing reproducible results optimizing efficiency troubleshooting and also to provide fault tolerance that's about this e lecture i thank my management of uh, mits uh, to offer this particular uh, opportunity to share my uh, information about workflow management system thank you